Hey everyone, so I'm just reporting from the car. Uh, I'm at Home Depot right now. Wah! And uh, I was gonna get some greens. Went out to get greens. Got some uh, stuff from Michaels over here. Um, went out to get greens, got some stuff from Michaels. Couldn't find greens because they're super expensive. So ended up getting that bad boy. Um, it's like a $30 tree from Home Depot. Um, surprisingly, the cheaper option. So here we are. Uh, and I'm gonna put it into a pot outside of the door and I'm going to decorate it. We have some, you know, lower quality decorations that I don't really like putting on the main tree because they're just lower quality, but I think they will look cute outside. Don't have any more lights now that I think of it. And maybe I should get more lights. Maybe I should get more lights. You know what? I'm just gonna decorate it the way it is. I think I have enough for, or two things I wanna do. I wanna wrap the stairway up, the banister, with the red ribbon. And then I also would like to make a gigantic bow for the top of this tree, I think. So I think I have enough materials for that. I'm gonna make a little garland with some bells and some jute, and that'll go on this tree as well because I think there are enough lights on the porch anyway whatever so okay I think that's the plan and I will see you at home so just to show you what I've got going on here here's the tree that I picked up five to six feet I think anyway it's not very big and then over here I kind of have the perfect thing really it's uh, just a basket that has some old soil in it from the summer. So I'm gonna pop that guy into that guy and we're gonna get it started. Okay, so like the next thing I need to do is see what this tree looks like because I didn't unwrap it because I don't really care because I think every tree has its own character, you know? And uh, we'll see what this one's is. Hopefully it'll stand up in the wind, I think it will. I might put some rocks down at the bottom. Anyway, let's unwrap it, see what it is. Oh yeah. But you know what? I think it's kind of perfect. See? Very, very pretty. Okay. I think we chose the right one, even though it's needles <laughs> all over the place. But, you know, I actually kind of feel, like, good about that because probably nobody was going to come and pick this up, you know. At this point, most of the trees are already gone, so it was pretty slim pickings, let's be honest. So, you know, here we are. We've got this tree. It's outside. I don't have to worry about cleaning up needles. It's great. I think I'm just going to fuss with it for a little while and, uh... Then we'll uh, put some stuff on it, I think. Maybe I'll make the garland first. That's probably what I'll do. It looks so pretty already. I love it. All right, sorry if you can't hear me very well. There's a truck that's uh, sucking some sewage up through the center of the road right now. Anyway, so this is what we've got so far, and I think it's looking pretty cute. I need to do a little bit of cleanup out here, and then we're gonna go inside and do the garland and the ribbon. All right, so this is finally done. It took a really long time. The jute was horrible to work with. I don't know if I would recommend doing this myself again, but anyway, it's done now. I'm gonna make a bow, and then we're gonna throw this stuff on the tree.
All right, so I did this twice. <laughs> First time I didn't really like it, um, but now I actually think it is quite a nice little tree. Um, I like these things as well because they kind of, without them, it kind of looks a little bit bare here. So I do like those. They're, I don't know what their purpose is exactly in this log. I don't know how lean it, I guess, for the other side of the tree, maybe. I'll make that side look a little nicer. And you know, the bow will be an ongoing issue. I mean, it's so windy out here today. So anyway, that is the tree.